Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a very, very, very complex equation. <laughs> Why did I call it very complex? Because we have a negative 2 at the base and 2 at the guitar. I made that joke before so it's kind of like old but anyways, you will get the idea. So we have a negative base but a positive result. So does that mean Z has to be an even number? Well, no, because if you raise negative 2 to an even power, it's not going to give you a positive 2. If you raise it to the first power, it's going to give you negative 2, but not a positive 2. So you kind of have to tweak it up a little bit. That's why we have to go into the complex order. Wait a minute, isn't this channel all about complex numbers? Yes, it is. So let's dive in. First of all, let's remember the complex exponentiation formula. What do I mean by that? Anytime you have two complex numbers like W and Z, and you want to exponentiate like this this is a complex exponent right or complex exponentiation because like a complex to the complex i mean we know the meaning of two to the third right or one half to the power negative five they have a meaning but w to the z is like they're both complex numbers what does one plus i to the power i mean that's kind of weird right i mean how do you exponentiate well there's a rule for that uh, thanks to earlier mathematicians they came up with something and that's called Euler's number, right? Did you know that? Uh, we can basically write this as e to the power z ln w. But that brings up another issue. What is the ln or natural log? Some people are going to write it, unfortunately, as log. But anyways, get the idea. The natural log of a complex number is not the same thing as the natural log of a real number because you can ln 5 and it's just going to be ln 5. But what about ln negative 5? Wait a minute ln negative 5 is not well defined. Well, it's not real, but it is complex, right? So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and first convert both sides to exponentials. The left hand side, I'm going to write as e to the power z ln negative 2. Just bear with me, I keep it as ln first. And then 2 can be written as e to the power ln 2. Easy, right? That's just real. Great. Now, what am I getting from here? Well, it, because the bases are equal, can I say that z ln negative 2 equals ln 2, and from here, z equals ln 2 divided by ln negative 2, k is closed, right? Well, something is missing. You know what that is? That is the awesome, glorious one in the complex world, which is e to the power 2 pi n i. n is an integer, so if n is an integer, this is always 1. Why? Because if you think about it, this is a complex number with modulus 1, first of all. And this argument is a multiple of 2 pi, which means it's always at 1. Make sense? Okay, great. So you can go several rounds, but you're always going to hit the same number. Okay, that's 1. Great. So now we need to add that component, and that's just going to add a little piece here, which is going to be in the form of 2 pi and i. Make sense? Okay. So that's just going to be a little addition. And now what can I do? Let's go ahead and talk about, I think this is a good time, to talk about the ln of uh, a complex number or ln of a negative number or the complex logarithm, right? Also, if w is a complex number, ln w is given as ln absolute value of w plus i times the argument of w. Well, what is w in this case? Negative 2, right? How do you plot negative 2 on the argand plane? Just make it on fancy right by saying that well negative 2 is going to be here its distance from 0 is 2 units hence its modulus and then this is real this is imaginary so on and so forth and the argument is going to be pi radians awesome then I can kind of write it as follows ln of negative 2 is ln of the absolute value of negative 2 which is ln 2 plus i times the argument of w, which I can replace with pi. But don't just write pi, because pi is the principal value. I can add multiples of 2 pi. Let's just make it more general. But don't use n, because we already used it. Let's just say this is 2 pi ki. But since I'm going to multiply by i anyways, by distributive property, I can just write 2 pi k. Make sense? So this is the argument in general. Multiply by i. That's just the formula for the log of a complex number. You should definitely know this if you're dealing with complex numbers. And let me tell you something. I didn't know this. Before I started this channel, 
I kind of searched it up. Even though I learned about complex numbers, I've never taken complex analysis. And that's probably why some people are finding some of the discussions here non-rigorous. And that's fine. For me, at least, right? Okay, cool. Now, let's go ahead and plug this in. Z times ln of negative 2. We're going to go ahead and plug it in. So, Z times this gigantic thingy. I times pi plus 2 pi k. And then this is just ln of negative 2 equals ln 2 plus i times 2 pi n. Or 2 pi n i. Well, it doesn't matter how you write it. I'm usually used to writing it at 2 pi n i. Great. Now, one thing that I want to tell you is that we're going to compare our results with Wolfram well, Alpha. Do you think they're going to be exactly the same or is there going to be a difference? We'll talk about that. But first, let's go ahead and divide both sides by this thing on the left. So we can isolate z. So from here, z can be written as ln 2 plus 2 pi and i all over ln 2 plus i times pi plus 2 pi k. All right. Now, take a look at this expression. Take a look at this expression. And if we didn't have the little additional pieces like 2 pi and whatever, wouldn't this be 1? Yes, sort of. I mean, you wish, right? So can z be 1? No. Because think about it. Go back to the original, right? We said that 1 is not going to give us the answer. But there's something about 1 that makes it appear in this equation. Because even though it's not 1, negative 2 and 2 are opposite. So 1 is going to be in there. But guess what? It's just going to be part of the picture. All right? So kind of like a ratio of the real parts is 1. Makes sense? Okay. And in this case, n and k are... Can uh, they, they're integers, so and they can be different. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this process a little bit. Suppose my favorite word n equals k equals zero. Does this simply give us uh, the principal values? Think about it. Uh, z is gonna be ln two divided by ln two plus i pi or pi i, right? However, you want to write it. When you write it like this, it's kind of like the sort of like a standard form, a plus bi. In this case, your a is going to be this one and b is going to be this one. That's in the denominator, though. Ln2 is a constant. I mean, if you want, you can rationalize the denominator, right? And guess what this is going to be like? I think approximate is going to be like 0 0.046 minus 0 0.21 something i. I think there's a zero here. Something like that, okay? So when you plug this in, you can check it out in Wolfram Alpha. That should give us the solution. And actually, I checked it for you, and I'm going to show you the results. Ready? Okay. We could also do the following, by the way. Take this simple expression, because that's not too complicated, right? Multiply by the conjugates if you want to get rid of the denominator being complex. I'm going to multiply it by the minus sign, of course. This needs to be a minus sign, and this needs to be the same thing. And after distributing and separating and so on and so forth, you're going to get the following for z ln 2 squared, because you're going to get the sum of squares from there, divided by ln 2 squared plus pi squared minus i times pi ln 2 divided by ln 2 squared plus pi squared. Such an interesting number, right? Okay, so this is what I got, or in a simpler way, this is what I got. So let's go ahead and compare our results and what they give us. All right, cool, cool. So this is... Well, from alpha way, right? The solution is given as follows. Does that look like ours? That's for you to find out. And then, my way or highway. This is what I found, of course, with replacing n with certain values. If you plug it in, you're going to get... Actually, never mind. I, I think I messed up. This should be the well, from alpha way. And then you'll get a 2 if you plug it in. That's what I got. And then this is... I don't know. I, I just messed up. This should be my way, not from alpha, or highway, right? Is it how you spell highway? Anyways, and it gives us two again. Why are they different? Again, that's for you to find out. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.